Hi Taurus, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. Um, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. Um, you are welcome here just as you are in this very moment. Um, I'm happy to have you. Thank you for being here. All right, let's go. Um, let's let's look into this energy to see what is the current energy for this group of Tauruses. Now, remember, this might not be your story. Please be discerning um, when listening to this to make sure that it's actually resonating with you. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what is in the cur current energy for this group of Tauruses. Not all of us are in the same place, even though we have the same sign. We are all mixed together with different signs. We are not all the same, right? Even though we have the same sun sign. What is the current energy for Taurus, for this group of Taurus people? What is the current energy for this group of Taurus people? What is the current energy for this group of Taurus people? What is the current energy? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Taurus people? Whew, what is the current energy? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? All right. What will Taurus be stepping into in the next immediate future, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks? What will Taurus be stepping into in the next immediate future in the next immediate future what will Taurus be stepping into what will Taurus be stepping into in the next immediate future what will Taurus be stepping into what will Taurus be stepping into oh boy Guidance, please, for Taurus. Guidance, please, for Taurus. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Taurus. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Taurus. All right, let's begin. The time is... Two minutes, 45 seconds. Not bad, right, Taurus? Not bad. For those of you who have been following me, it's not a bad shuffling time. All right, let's go ahead and get into these energies here for the current energies for Taurus. Current energies for Taurus. Well, the first thing I saw when I uncovered, when I turned over the cards, was this Knight of Swords in my mind coming at you. All right, so there is a person who is coming directly towards you here. Um, it looks like for many Tauruses, you're in a, um, you're coming, you're moving too. You're moving um, forward in your enlightenment or in your wisdom. Um, You have decided to not accept any of the offers that are coming at you, or you have decided to take a second look at everything. Take a second look at everything. Take a second look at all the offers that are coming towards you. Um, take a second look at what you've been focusing on in the past. There, you're, you're realizing there's something here that isn't what you want. There's something here that isn't what you want. Now, Taurus, this isn't going to be for everyone. All right. Those of you that are happy where you are, um, that are feeling a sense of victory in your journeys, this, this story is not for you. Not all. And I felt this in the beginning, in the very beginning, I felt this energy, not all. Somebody made a comment and I usually don't respond to comments, but it, 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 it made me in, a, indignant to um, a tribe of people. Um, when we make a comment that is encapsulating or generalizing for a whole group of people how we feel about ourselves, it is unfair. It is unfair to assume 
that we are like everyone else, that we were all moving together in the same speed, going through different, going, it's, it, okay, I don't know why I'm in this, there's something here, okay, I'm in your energy, so first of all, Taurus, I'm in your energy, so I have to realize that I am an empath, and this is a superpower that I have, so I'm in your energy, but please, if this is not your story, please don't allow yourself to be affected by this story, because um, this is for a group of you that are realizing that there's something about your situation that you don't like. Um, you are deciding at this point in time to look at other options. The options that are here for you are not fulfilling you or they are not correct for you or they are not bringing in the type of experience that um, you have realized that you're looking for. Um, there's something here that you experienced in the past that you took some time to really dig into. Um, you've took some time to really dig into it. Um, the hermit is able to see his or her own roles. Um, the hermit is able to take accountability. And the hermit is also able to adjust his or her walk to move forward now in a much more wise way or a more enlightened way. Um, this is a master walker. You are a master walker. You are a master builder. Um, you are a master in this in this journey for yourself. And the masters are able to change direction if they need to. They're able to be logical. They're able to see the truth. And they're able to make alter, alterations in their course if it is appropriate and if it is wise. Um, and this is um, something that you're doing now to... Um, to move forward in a different way. And there is a sense of tiredness about you, but you do have this peace. You have this new resolution. You have this new um, way of walking forward and you're coming out now into the community or into your family or into the workplace um, with, with some sort of different, there's a different quality about you now. And people are seeing that um, you are shining your light a little bit more brightly you are shining your light for others. Whatever you're doing now and the changes that you're making will be inspiring um, for, to the people around you and will help to teach. Somehow you could be a teacher in some way or another or in your walk, you help to influence and to shine the beacon of light for others. All right. There is someone that's coming towards you here, Taurus, quite quickly with some kind of surprise, some kind of truth here. Um, that they wish to say. So when I turned over this Knight of Swords, this energy came at me. So um, I am in the, the the Taurus energy and this energy came at me. So there's something here that's coming towards you now, um, Taurus. Something that's a surprise or some great kind of truth. Um, and I think this is a person that's coming towards you. Let's let me um, just see before we get into the future. I just want to kind of get a little bit more information about this. Nine of sword, nine of pentacles here. Something is not fair for this person. This person doesn't feel like something's fair. Something could have been taken away from this person. This person could want some type of freedom here. This person could want some new kind of equality. This person um, could be coming forward with a lack perspective or a victim mentality, but they have a truth to say. So something could, let me, there, I feel like there's something here that they're saying. Whatever it is, it could surprise you just a little bit. This person could come forward in um, with aggressive words or something. Ooh. Devil energy in the upright. Somebody could be angry or something. We'll find out what happens in the future here. I just feel like this could be somewhat of a surprise or something for you. You could be changing some things here and people might not like it. People might want to. Yeah. Okay. So I keep shuffling? I mean, I'm just going to get these. Somebody, 
you know, when, when, you know, it's always interesting when we're around people, whether they are our intimate partner, our family members, our work colleagues, community members. Um, it's really interesting to watch what happens to the statement of love. What happens to love when people hear the word no? How do people respond to the word no? Do they become angry? Do they become fearful? Do they feel like you are taking away their freedom or taking away their, their, their chance at success? I mean, what happens to the people when, around us who say they love us when we say no? And what kind of love is this then? What kind of love is this then? Do we accept what they say? Do they accept what we say? It's so interesting, the energy I'm getting here. Fearfulness, lack perspective, feeling of injustice here, feeling that whatever is being said or whatever is being done is not fair to them, um, feeling like their rights have been taken away, their freedom has been taken away, something that they've been doing in the past has been taken away, anger, jealousy, insecurity, passion, obsession, addiction, lack of moderation, coming in the, in the face of love, in the words of love. Taurus, this is, might be deep reading. This might be a deep reading. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? King of Wands. Eight of Cups. In reverse. You might be wanting to walk away from something or walk away from an offer or a job or a business partnership or a relationship. And this person is not wanting that. This person is seeing and anticipating the, the future, the resources in the future, the joy and the excitement of the future is wanting to create and is wanting to wait and see what kind of ships come in here. This person is wanting to move forward um, and invent something or be in the public eye in some way or influence people in some way. And what you have to say and the changes you're wanting to make here, this person is not wanting to do that. This person is uh, disagreeing with you, disagreeing with what you're wanting to do. So there's somebody here that could be disagreeing with you in some way. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what the future is here. The future energy, the future energy. There you are, Taurus. There you are. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Four of Swords in reverse. The Lover's Energy. King of Pentacles. Let me get one more energy here. One more energy, please. One more energy, please. One more energy, please. There's some, there's a hole here. One more energy. Jeez. All right. We have three cards coming out and they all came out together. Like I have to accept this. Right. So what we have here is the Hierophant energy, which is your energy, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Lover's energy. We have the King of Pentacles. All these are in the upright. We have the Knight of Cups in the upright, the, the Nine of Cups in the upright, and the Five of Cups in the upright. These energies are over the top of the Four of Swords. These This bunching of energy is over the top of the Four of Swords. All right. Tor Taurus, let me get into this story. Um
Well, ultimately, this is about taking action now to build a secure and abundant future for yourself, for yourself and your family. So um, we have two Taurus energies coming out. And so you're very strongly in your own, ener in your own energy at this time. Um, you um, have are feeling in this current period of time that what you have around you now or the people that you have around you or the workplace or um, the strategy that you're taking, whatever it is that you're focusing on um, is, is lacking in something and you're taking action now in the future. Um, and this can be a smaller, these can be smaller energies. Um, I always say that um, you can decide, this could be um, an energy that you're gonna be transitioning through fairly quickly. Maybe this is a two or three week situation here. Um, so these energies are diminished in the, in the passion that I bring them forward in. Um, or this could be a story that's, that's taking place over the next six months or so for you. It could be a bigger story for you. And I just allow spirit to bring that, this, these stories forward. I'm the messenger. And this is for you to take and kind of place within your situation if your feeling is resonating. All right, so we're saying the next seven to 10 days, but I do think that sometimes spirit does take this as an opportunity um, to get a message out to someone who is needing it for a major life change as well. So take the energies as you um, see them fitting into your story. But I do see you here in the future taking action to bring in safety and security and abundance um, to your overall picture of wealth and security. So this is about taking care of your family this is about your um, your profit and loss sheet. This is about your, your balance sheet. Um, this is about your future and your retirement planning and your whole portfolio and your estate. Um, if you are um, someone who owns a vast amount of property um, or if you are someone who actually has some sort of participation in a kingdom of some kind, um, you are working now to take action and focus on what is going to bring you health and vitality, um, what is going to bring health and vitality to your family as a whole, to your wealth as a whole, to your kingdom as a whole. So you're looking at the big picture now and you're deciding to make some changes. Um, you are focusing now on your own personal joy and happiness, the happiness of your family, the happiness of your people, um, the health of your people, the health of your family, um, the quality of the families that live um, within your reign. Why am I going into a kingdom? Okay, so I, um, whether you are a single family household, whether you are a one person household, or whether you are part of the government of a city or a state, um, you are working on bringing some kind of warmth and harmony to either your own situation or to the greater public at large and you're focused on this. Um, I think that you have an idea. I think that you have a new way forward and you're really focused on this. See that the eight of pentacles is over the top of the king of pentacles or the king of pentacles is over the top of the eight of pentacles. So you have something now that you've focused in on. Um, perhaps it's a, it's a new idea that somebody's had, but again, it's something that you're working on. You could have a team of people working on this. You could be working on this yourself. Um, but whoever's working on this new project or this new invention or, or whatever this is, it has already started. It has already started. Um, it has already began. Something has already started and it has the possibility of creating um, a much more abundant future for you or for your people. And um, I don't think you're allowing anyone to distract you from whatever this is. So other agendas, other people with other um, desires here are not, you're giving them no mind. You're giving them no space to step into this, whatever this is. You have to, the lover's energy that comes over the top of the eight of pentacles. So you could have a partner here that's that's a soul partner that's part of this group. Um, I do feel like there is something here that's quite profound, whether this is a partner that is an intimate partner, whether this is a partner um, who feels so just as strongly as you do about the success of this. There's something that's very deep between the two of you. You could be um, 
co-owners of a business. You could be intimate partners that have um, such a powerful connection between the both of you. You could be partners that have come together to be successful in something that's very profound and um, necessary for the health of your family or for the health of your people. Um, so there is a very deep partnership um, that is a part of this story. If it's not a partnership, this is a balancing within yourself, powerful balancing of the yin and yang within yourself, the masculine and the feminine, um, the superpowers and the weaknesses. It's a balancing, it's a melding. Um, this arrow, I'm giving the picture of this arrow now, um, swiveling so quickly that you cannot see the quills and you cannot see the point. It's swiveling in um, a powerful energy and it's hovering above both heads. It's swiveling. It's not still. It looks still here, but it's actually swiveling. It's circling very quickly um, so that you can't see um, the definition of the, of the feathers. <sighs> there is protection around this as well. There is some element of protection around this partnership or this balance that you have. And the decisions that you're making together or the decisions that are coming from within yourself are, um, are, are very balanced and harmonious and at peace. But there is an intense desire for an intense, um, there is an intense energy for success here and there's a depth in this partnership and I'm not going to stay here because the lover's energy is a beautiful energy to be in. So I could sit in there and explain that to you all day, but I think you definitely get it. I think you definitely get it. So while you have something here that you're working on that has already started, what is, what it is that you're looking for is this happiness, is this health, is this joy and bliss. Um, you're looking to revitalize your family or revitalize your personal life or, um, bring care and comfort and kindness and compassion to the people that are around you. Um, you're, you're looking for the energy of the Ten of Cups. And I think that you may not have, have ever felt the kind of energy that you're wanting to create. You may never have seen this happen before within your society or within your family. You may never have seen this happen before. Um, but you do have it in mind and you have heard of it and you have read about it in the history books and you have imagined it in your mind. You have felt it in your heart. And you are working now to um, create this in reality. And you have started on a new plan. All right. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. And over the top of it is this Knight of Cups with the, with the, um, nine, the Nine of Cups with the Five of Cups. So this is kind of a complicated energy here. Give me a moment to get into this package well, you've decided to become open with this, to become public with this. You have decided that now is not the time to go into solitude. Now is not the time to come in out of battle. You are moving forward here in this energy of love to fill the cups and the hearts of man. Oh my gosh, this is so... Who is this? Who am I reading for? Fill the hearts and cups of the people within your family. Fill the hearts and cups of yourself. This is an energy of love. This is forward motion here to bring happiness and health and to help to create the fulfillment of wishes within a community or within a family. You do move forward in an energy of sorrow. You move forward in an energy of regret. You move forward in an energy of mournfulness. You carry the cup that's full in your hand with a reverence of what you have lost in the past, what your people have lost in the past, and the sorrows that 
you bear on the cross that you carry. So there's a reverence here in this energy. This is a deep reading. Okay, this is a this is a deep reading. It's an energy of love. So if this is a couple, um, you're feeling like there is something very destined about this relationship. It is truly a wish come true for you. And you carry the cup that you're offering, this offer of love, this offer of reconciliation, or this offer of engagement or happiness. You carry this cup forward and are offering it now and are holding it in the energy of all that you have lived before. You're holding it um, with the cross that of your past life that you carry on your shoulders. So there's something very reverent about this energy, this energy of love. So you could be working on a new romance here of a, a connecting in with a, with a deep soulmate, or you could be working um, to bring health and vitality to a community or to a family. And you could be feeling these energies in all of those cases. But this movement, this offer of love that's coming forward is being carried with a great reverence and a deep consideration for yourself and for the other person or for the other people. It is a heaviness to this offer, but also a deep, profound um, heart connection and a truly sincere desire for bliss and joy and health and vitality. Okay, so I know that this sounds dramatic. If you're going to pare this down and take these energies and take some of the drama away from them, so let me do that really quick. Let's let's do that really quick with a work situation. So let's say um, that you have um, something that you're working on at work. It's a new project, or you see, it's something that's new here with the Eight of Pentacles. You have one thing that's finished, so you've you've made it um, so far. You've made it. You've made it. You've made the product, or you have created the initial um, step, or you have started the report, or whatever this is you're doing. You've started it, and you've created it to a certain degree. Um, but there's much more work to be done on this, and you know that it has um, the possibility of being truly um, a success, right? You you just know that there's more work to be done. There could be other people working on this as well. Um, this brings you a lot of happiness to be working on this project. Um, you have a you have a really um, uh, a really good team that you work with, or a really um, a, a partner that really understands you, and you work really well with this person. You are excited about how this could impact your pocketbook, how this could impact the future of your position in this company. And um, you are working now with the intention of being successful and really kind of taking into consideration how this could impact you in the future. Um, you, you know that this, while you might be tired or while, and while you've been working quite hard, you know this isn't really time now um, to sit back and relax. You're moving forward, um, really taking this on and enjoying this moment. Um, you realize that your work is going to bring some sort of success here that's going to um, help you enjoy life. And um, you, you have been through some things in the past that have been difficult. And so you are realizing now that this is a very important time to take action, that there are wishes here that can be granted or there is success here that can be felt um, if this is done in the in the correct way, in an abundant way, in a friendly way, um, in a heartfelt, sincere um, working pattern. Okay, so that's taking this energy and kind of um, putting some brackets around it or something, making it making it more logical for a very short period of time. <sighs> okay, so. Let's look at the guidance that's coming forward for Taurus. Let's look at the guidance now that's coming forward. These were, um, let me see here. Ooh, disconnecting, disconnecting. 
What is the guidance that's coming here forward here for for Taurus? The guidance that's coming forward for Taurus. So the guidance that's coming forward is we start off with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So my friends, when I shuffle, all of the cards are in the same, um, they're all um, in the upright, in the deck. And if they land in reverse, then we keep them in reverse. Um, the Ten of Wands is here. So it, it's talking about um, you're coming out of a period of time where um, you have spent some years or some time um, really being the only soldier um, here willing to take action. You have been shouldering the burden of many um, of many people or of many tasks. And there is a guidance here to allow some of these burdens that you carry, to allow yourself to drop some of these burdens, to think of a way um, that you can release some of these cares, re re release some of these concerns or the work that you're doing here because um, if you don't, if you don't release some of them, um, the tasks and the actions that you take could get slightly out of control because um, I can see and I can feel that you're already sort of losing the grasp um, of some of these tasks. So no person can hold so many wands um, at once and really be effective. So there is a... Um, a, some guidance coming forward here for you, Taurus, to remember um, that you can only really uh, change what is what is actually in your control. So what is actually in your control? What is actually in your job description? Um, what is actually something that you can manage in an efficient and effective way? Because there is guidance here to allow some of these tasks and burdens that you've been carrying to uh, delegate them, to give them to others, to put them back in their rightful place, um, and to free yourself from the heavy load that you've been carrying. I do feel like you could have already been doing that. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. So it, it's telling me that you could be in the process of doing that or thinking about doing that. And this could be confirmation for you um, to, yes, continue to think about that and to start to take action now to delegate some of these tasks or to put some of these burdens back into the rightful owner who should carry them. Okay, because you your load has been quite difficult, and um, I feel like you could be getting weary, you could be getting tired. Because again, this is not the time to rest, Taurus. This is not the time to rest. So um, because this is not the time to rest, it is necessary for you to burden, to, to lighten your load so that you can continue to be effective. There's something coming in here now that is inspiring, that is exciting, um, that is a, a chance for you to be successful on something. And if you're carrying the burdens of others, it might impact um, the effectiveness or the success of whatever this new, um, whatever this new project is that, that you um, have in front of you. We have the emperor here and the guidance is the emperor in the upright, which tells me um, to, to continue to focus on your systems, your efficiencies, your discipline, your routines, um, to continue to manage the people that are around you if you are in a leadership position, to continue to stay strong, to enforce what the procedures are, to enforce the systems and the guidelines, to make sure that everything is running um, in as a well-oiled well machine. The emperor likes to have everything well-oiled and not squeaky, right? Running smoothly and no squeaks, no irritating noises. <laughs> That's the emperor. So, um to stay disciplined, to stay in your routine, to stay focused on whatever this is and um, to stand in your role and to take on your role in a way that um, is most needed. So to not get distracted with with um, elements here that is not that are not part of, of your true definition of your role. We do have the Page of Cups, so it does look like there's a new inspiration coming. It, this warms the heart. 
There could be a new introduction here of someone. There could be a new partner here. Um, it's just a beginning energy. It's a message of love or an introduce, uh, introduction of someone who will inspire you or warm your heart or um, bring in the element of love for you into this experience. doesn't have to be intimate love. doesn't have to be sexual love, but it is an energy of love. It is an energy of love and inspiration. So something here warms the heart. Um, there could be a new introduction or a reconnection with a close friend or, but, but somehow the heart is being warmed. The heart is being inspired. Um, and there is some sort of message here coming forward that helps you as you move forward in this journey. The high priestess energy is here too. And, and this is very similar to the emperor energy. It's just the feminine quality of this energy. And the high priestess is an energy of intense, knowing without the need for blathering on about it. <laughs> um, this energy has a little bit of humor mixed in. So this is a humorous type energy, but it is um, the humor is uh, an emotion that kind of helps to ease the intensity of whatever this is representing. So there is some intensity here, but there is wisdom. There is a connection to the, to divine energy. Um, there is a deep knowing of what your role is and that you are supposed to be on this journey. Um, the, the high priestess can, can easily keep secrets. She knows how to control the information that's within her. So if something new is happening or she has a new idea or something is being invented or created, she can easily keep quiet about it. She doesn't let the secret slip. She doesn't have a loose tongue. She doesn't create gossip or um, participate in any kind of societal drama. She stays very quiet within herself. She can contain her knowledge. She can suppress her excitement if need be. She is a powerful leader. And I do feel like this is in a, um, some sort of... This is you here having this ability to be such a quiet leader. You don't have to um, talk too much. You don't have to um, let out all the secrets to everyone. Not everyone needs to know what's going on. Not People just need to know here what their jobs are, what is within their role, and what do they need to do to be effective, and what do people need to do to help the ship move forward in the most abundant way. What are each employee's roles or what are each family's roles? And they need to know, like, that is what they specialize in and that is what they focus on. And if everyone focuses on their lane, if everyone stays in their lane, um, in their own river, that um, there could be success as you move out into the sea. So that's the guidance that's coming forward to, to make sure that you um, control the information that you release, to make sure that you... Um, don't let something out, let something out that could create insecurity or fear um, in the family or with the people or with the, in the community to keep what you know within you and share um, this information in a way that is abundant, that is in a way that brings um, vitality, vitality to the situation and comfort and calm to the situation rather than expressing too much, sharing too much, getting too many people involved, having too many bosses, having too many roosters in the hen house, um, that kind, that kind of a, that kind of a thing. Okay, Taurus, um, I am now going to take a short break. This has been an interesting reading. And um, when I come back, I will dig deeper into some of these energies in the extended. Um, let me see what I'm going to dig deep into here. I dug deep into the Knight of Swords already. Um, I think. I am going to dig deeper into um, this lover's energy. I'll dig deeper into the Ten of Cups. Um, I'll dig deeper into the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So I'm going to dig deeper into this love energy, this happiness energy, this wish fulfillment energy, and see what else we can pull out. When I'm done with that, we'll look at the people who are around you and their intentions as you move into the future. 
All right. Thank you very much, Taurus. It is always a pleasure to read for you, my, my powerful friends. Um, the work that you do in the world and in your communities is um, appreciated and is valued. And we really couldn't um, really move forward without you. So thank you very much for all of your work. Have a great rest of the week. And thank you, my friends.